How to add discount tags on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a discount tag on Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to keep up with this video and follow it from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing right there is to visit Shopify.com. Then you need to select a plan to make the works of the shop and also to make it appear. Then you need to uh, to leave or disable the password and you can do that by simply getting a plan. Now the plan is not of our subject today. So we are going back to the Shopify and then we are going to add a product. Here it is very necessary to add a product. Now we are going to add a product from scratch. We are going to set a title. For example, I am going to set a t-shirt. Right there, t-shirt for summer, obviously, and high quality, quality like that. I'm going just to put a, a longer a title because I would like to make something longer for the title because it will not be confused for um, every product that are here and there on the web. Now we have the category, it will be automatically detected. Now for the media, we are going to upload. Go right there into the images and upload whatever you have for images. I'm going to choose any of these images. Let's go ahead and choose an image and put it as a sample. So right there, I'm going to put this maybe. This is this a t-shirt, I don't care. And uh, I think it is uh, going to sit no I'm not going to do that so I'm going to add another one here we are going to see let's go ahead and add this one it is not a t-shirt it is a normal shirt so it will be to the deal now here the trick is to set the pricing and also set the compare at price now let's go ahead and set a pricing of 2000 or 25 100 or 250 this is a uh, foreigner currency so don't mind it please and compare it at a price of 450 now we have said that we need to set the inventory to 999 like that continue selling when out of stock of course we are going to uh, renew the stocking the shipping you have to mention it and the waiting also if you have some variants, you are going to add some variants to it. Now everything is set. Don't forget to put the product type. For example, I'm going to put shirts right there. The vendor collection, you can set a collection and add some tags, shirts like that. Go ahead and add some tags. You need it for some uh, SEO search in for the engines or the research engines. Now go ahead and put summer, outfit, and etc. Now I'm going to click on save. And finally we are going to view it. Right there as you can see we have the old price and the new price. And we have also a sale tag. This is it or the discount tag. Uh, for the discount it is a sale tag, not a discount, but we are going to add a, a tag right there. So all we have to do is to set a special tag for this product. And how we can do that, you're going right there to the home page of Shopify, click on the search bar right there and set, for example, labels like that and search for it in uh, Shopify app store. Right there, it will open up the Shopify app store and we are going to seek for an option or an app. Then we are going to proceed with it. Here we have Sami product labels and badges, essential trust badges and icons, and a lot of different options. For me, I will go with this one because I have had some experience, a very good experience with it. So we are going to install it. Right there, we are going to grant the permission to access our store and also to be installed like that click on the install and in few seconds we are going to see the app right there integrated in our store pin it to your navigation so we will not uh, going to see that 
For the pricing plan, we have a lot of different options. Silver, gold, and diamond. And also, we have the free one. As you can see, this is the free plan. And here, at the bottom corner right, we have continue as free. So we are going to continue as free to create here two options or two badges or two labels and also two banners. Now we are going to wait for the plan to be set and then we can proceed to the creation of the badge or the tag. When you have finished setting the plan, we are going to click on the app itself, which is Sami product labels. Now we have the integration of the theme. Before you are going to set a badge or a label, we are going to integrate it. Click on integrate theme and then we are going to create or set the theme right there. Live theme is here. So we are going to the theme editor and then we are going to enable the app from it. It is an embed app. You have to keep that in mind. So you will find it only on app embeds. Here. It is enabled, enabled like this. When you have saved the option or the enablement of the app, you're going to exit this specific area. Right there, the app embed is set to active. Let's go back to the app again. And then we are going to create the label. Create label. And now we are going to select the label selection or type. You can add it as a text or an image. So we don't need that chat. Here we have the label image. We are going to select an image. And from there, we have a lot. You can design your own image or go ahead and select one of these. For example, you can go ahead and select whatever you want from these uh, like that. I'm going to put cell and see if we have this one. Labor Day cell. Labor Day, we're going to modify something and get this one. You can set uh, this one, happy. Here we have a lot of sales. You can see that we have a lot of um, events and also like Cyber Monday, Black Friday and the normal ones. Here we have the special offer and also the sales one. Now, in my case, I will go ahead and select the images. So we are going to set these and now we are going to design our own here we are going to give it a name for example 30 percent sale like that this is just an example and here we have the capital s an image go ahead and choose a tag from these and we are going to set this tag maybe like that make it a little bit bigger and here we have it now try to make it to the middle and when you finish that you are going to add a text add a text and make it like this we are going to set the text as bold and the color of it to maybe white i'm going to change the color to the white and here we have it now i'm going to set right there sale like that sale of for example 30 percent and now we have this one so we are going to set this to the middle and make it like this here we have the text it is not overlaid so just take it and make it like this and we have it this is just an example so i'm going to set something like not this but let's go ahead and set only 30 percent and then we are going to make it a little bit bigger like that and we are going to set the minus here we have it click on save when you finish and here we have it this is the tag that we are going to add now we are going to select it and click on select image here we have the badge or the tag now we are going to add it to a product here we have the option to set it wherever we want from the uh, image i'm going to set it like that here the, we have the medium size the custom size the small one uh, right there now we have this one set so we are going to make it to a specific product how you can make that click on save now the badge is saved let's see here if we have some more options we're going to see the display 
and we have some condition all condition or any condition set it to all conditions or any condition it is up to you now for the product I'm going to select a product here it is equal to select an item and let's say that we have set the t-shirt only so it will be showing only on the t-shirt the product page and here and there it is a gold plan and everything is not our business so we are going to click on save now we are going to exit that and see if the label is set normally it is right there so we are going to see the product and see if it is right there set like this click on the product and we are going to wait for it and here we have the badge or the tag that was it you can modify that badge or that tag set it wherever you want you can go ahead and modify it so I'm going to modify this to make it a little bit better so it will show up right there go ahead and select it and then we are going to modify a little bit so we are going to set it right this right here now it is saved go ahead and refresh that page and here we have it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content i hope to see you soon on the next one